Well, hello, hello, and welcome to Coffee Craft with your host, Anon Jr. This time going live for real. <laughs> Sorry about the false alarm a little bit earlier. I hit the button. I did I, The button I needed was right next to the button I hit. And uh, yeah, that happens a lot. Well, here we are out in the desert. If Too many times. There we go. If you remember from last week, we were reclaiming this desert temple. Uh, we made a little bit of progress in clearing out the base, leveling out some of the terrain, getting the start of a road. Um, and I think I'm going to push that mound back there back just a little bit more. Back there, back. I, that, that big sand dune over there. I'm gonna, I, I think I'm going to push that back a little bit. Uh, so I can make this just a smidge bigger. I really want to push that side back a little bit too, but we've got this wonderful little um, ravine down here, and I don't, I just really, really, really do not feel like collapsing this whole thing in on that area, at least until we get a, get a chance to go down there and... Ooh, Hello, Mr. Creeper. Um, until we get a chance to go down there and do a little bit of digging and that sort of stuff. Uh, what we do have on the agenda is a little bit of this old house. I mean, this old village. And we're going to go rehab a village. Let me, uh, if I can see my keys, unmute Discord. Because Rayest and Arcadius are live with us today. Hello. Hello, hello. So we're going to go just a little bit further out this way. Now, at some point, I do plan on taking the rail from behind my castle over here to the sand castle and <laughs> the sand castle. Ooh, yeah. Maybe I should just call it the sand castle. Uh, and then probably take another rail off of the station here because the village is just a little short ways over this way. Now, this is one of the villages that we found very early in the season. Uh, matter of fact, I think it was the first village we found in the season, if I remember right. And I think it was. We uh, <clears throat> borrowed a couple of the villagers to, <laughs> to get everything started out that way. Uh, we got a couple more uh, below these torches. Uh, for, the, for their safety. They're, they're in their bomb shelter, you know, raid proof store, you know, shelter. And, um, and we're going to start working on figuring out what we're going to do at this place. Uh, as I was, as we were doing a little bit of prep before the stream, I, I felt a little bit like a Monty Python sketch. All right, we need to figure out where the center is. No, two things, where the center is and what scale. No, three things, because nobody expects the Spanish renovation. Um, and so we got a couple things that we need to figure out. And I believe they're headed for storage to grab some supplies. I've got a few supplies over from my storage as well. Um, I've got a box of just about every sapling we could need, along with some bone meal and uh, some dirt and logs and whatnot. Uh, okay, no, I did remember to grab the oak. Okay. Because there's a couple of different lumbers I wanted to try. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to settle a couple of things and then we're going to divide the task because rehabbing this village is um, it's going to be a big endeavor and uh, we're going to divide and conquer so I am going to be tasked with the perimeter as soon as we figure out where that is I'm going to build up the wall, build some gates and that that kind of thing Rayest is going to work on rehabbing the houses and Arcadius is going to work on building a town square and market and then once we well at least once we get the the defenses up and the interior lit enough that we don't have to worry about something uh coming in and eating all our villagers we will then uh let these guys out and let them start doing their thing to uh fill the village do we have a flower farm yet 
We do not have a flower farm yet. I didn't realize a flower farm was on the requested agenda. It wasn't initially. <laughs> but it is now. Um, yeah. 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 Let, let me guess. We are uh, short dies. Which dies are we short of? No, at least one. Well, I mean, I know we're perpetually short of black dye. I I can't imagine why. <clears throat> Excuse you. Uh, I heard you had a <laughs> cough in your throat there. Something, yeah. something going on. Yep, yep, something going on. Absolutely. It couldn't be somebody's ginormous castle in the sky. No, it must be Arlietta's. Was that Arlietta? No. I got that wrong, didn't I? It was Castle in the Sky. It was just Castle in the Sky? There wasn't a name in front of it? No, Arietti is an awesome one, though. Okay. Arietti's I like understand why you're making the convolution, because Arietti is my favorite of the, st of the Studio Ghibli ones. Ah. Uh, what, you're, what you're thinking of is Laputa, which is actually just the name of the fortress. It isn't actually part of the title. It's just Castle in the Sky. Castle in the yeah. Sky. Someone spell terracotta. Um, okay, nope, I got it right. T <laughs> dot kata. Army? No, wait. No, that was the video we watched the other night. That's what that's called. Okay. Huh. All right. Okay, so I have tons of terracotta. Um, <coughs> I got a bunch of orange. Are we going to include our little mine shaft in the uh, town perimeter, do you think? Yeah, probably. And then once I get these, we'll meet up. Alright. Um, yeah, we might have to backfill some of this lake, too. Getting into a staring contest with a chicken. It's almost like getting into a staring contest with Jabba. It immediately turns away and runs off. <laughs> no, it just kind of, you know, looks away and then looks at you with that side eye. Like, I'm not looking at you, I promise. I mean, I'm looking at you, but I'm not looking at you, I promise. Yep, that's beautiful. to get filled in. Although if we do that, we're definitely going to want to harvest the sand and gravel. Which die were you looking for, Rest? A bunch of them. Well, I have my personal die boxes for when I do concrete, but I don't know what I have is what you're looking for, but they're down here on the um, ground just floor. Different bright colors. I mean, you're the one who's going to be doing it, so what do you want? Um, <laughs> wow. I heard that bus. Did anybody catch the number? Yeah, we'll definitely have to get all the farmland in one place, too. Will it be, or will it be more fun to make them run around? No, no, because I know you. The the asymmetry of having farmland scattered hither and yon will get to you. Hey, I built an asymmetrical modern house. Thank you very much. Where? The concrete house. Mm hmm 
the look is happening. Mm hmm. I can hear it. So can everybody else on the live stream. <laughs> <laughs> Except and your any uh, viewers that know me house? in real life. So what? And any of the viewers that know me in real life? Yeah, that too. You do remember that your concrete house still doesn't have a floor. I know. I was very sad to learn how some mechanics work. Wait, would you like to discuss we the redstone mechanics it. with me? No. You don't want to do that on live stream? No. 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 no Raz does not allow to uh, talk about redstone live. <laughs> <laughs> For everybody's best interest. Can you bring your color stuff up here? No. Oh. Alright, I'm gonna harvest all these uh, farmland bits. So that way we'll have all awesome. the seeds and whatnot ready. Because I'm pretty sure we're gonna move them around. They are scattered all over the place. Oh, hey, you took my box. No, yep. I didn't. No, Arcadius did. All right, I have orange, gray, oh, that weird glitch happening with the right two columns in my box. Hey, Is it go. just in storage boxes or in uh, your personal? Inventory. My personal inventory. And it's two boxes in particular? Yep, the two on the top right. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll have to look at that because troubleshooting on stream is not usually the best idea. It's cool. I just need to figure out how to get the box out. One second. Apparently, there's a really weird bug with her client that is causing a couple of boxes to just not be usable. Eh. Uh, did it happen when we installed Optifine? Yes. Mm. Well, after that. How far after? Like, immediately after? Or it was fine for a while and then... I didn't notice it right away, but I also, like, it's possible that I just didn't happen to use those particular boxes. <coughs> Alright, what other colors will show up well? Lime, I think, Will. Why do you have so much lime? Because I have a lot of white and green. Um, it, it is kind of okay. funny when the <laughs> dolphins are just playing with that. items, just not when you're trying to harvest kelp. Then it's not funny anymore. <laughs> I saw a dolphin over by one of the farms, so I tossed him some seeds and he's playing with it, and it's kind of funny. It just wasn't funny that day that I was trying to harvest the kelp to get the uh, fuel fuel going. But the dolphins are because so cute. He kept playing because he kept playing with it and spreading it around. Ooh, now the fun speculation comes. What do you guys think the goats are going to be able to do? Because we were watching the Minecon live announcement when the mountain biome was chosen for the upgrades. Kick you off the it's mountain. a really good question. So, they play King of the Hill with you. Uh, pretty sure that they're going to drop leather. But are they going to drop? Uh, are they going to drop mutton, goat meat? I would think haggis. Oh. No, no goat meat. No, no, not not haggis. <laughs> They drop haggis in a kilt. <laughs> mm -mm. Arcadia, can you toss me another no, full stack anyway. of blank terracotta? 
I I'm pretty sure that would have been sheep anyway. I guess I could be doing something useful here, like getting out an ender chest. Oh no! It's annoying. Oh, just the weird thing. I need to try to get something in those boxes as soon as I can pull stuff out of there. What? Why do I have one random golden carrot? Never mind. I don't want to know. Uh, yeah, no. That should be good. At least until we get some stuff squared away. Now, I know one of the things that we were going to talk about was build a pallet. Do you want to wait until you guys get here, or...? Uh, you guys can begin the conversation. I need two more seconds, although someone flitting about in front of me is getting really distracting. Uh-oh. Because, <laughs> <laughs> honestly, I'm thinking of keeping with the same... Uh, the same even though it is kind of limited, keep it to the, the same basic palette as what's already here. Just do uh, something a little prettier. But again, the, this village was generated in the 1.13, which was before they updated the building generation mechanics. Because the newer, the newer villages are actually kind of nice. Yeah, I was honestly hoping for something a little bit more um, colorful. Yeah, um, this is a standard uh, plains biome too. So what we're getting is cobblestone, oak, and oak planks, and oak, uh, yeah, oak logs. And I'm uh, not feeling it. <laughs> In fact, um, it would be my recommendation that we just rip the entire thing down to the ground, re-terraform, and then build the village again from scratch. But that's just me. Oh no, I didn't say build it the way it is, or leave it the way it is. I was saying just use the, uh, the oak logs, oak planks, the stripped variants for a little bit of extra, and maybe uh, cobble and andersite for the foundational type stuff. Uh, just so I don't forget to say this later, I can use all of them if I have a box open. If you have a... Oh, so if you're in a chest, they'll all be good, but not... Uh-huh. Yep, so I just made sure to put something random in their place right now so I don't accidentally use them. Uh, okay. That's okay. Not for figuring it out now, just I'll forget to say it yeah. later. Yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, uh, that, that's got me confused. All right, to the village. That's gonna be a lot confused. Where's the village? Over Where's here. the village? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got a few different colors for us, and I brought some blanks too, just so that we can kind of play around with them. Yeah, no, I definitely want to tear down the existing buildings and build them better. You know, move the farms around a little bit and that sort of thing. Uh, but since the area is predominantly oak anyway, and those would be the resources the villagers have available, kind of stick to that kind of a feel. Maybe use some different types of doors, because I really don't like the oak doors. Maybe that's just from years and years and years of that being the only door that wasn't iron. Um, Well, the problem is, is most of the doors aren't going to match the rest of it. <laughs> okay, where are you guys? Me for, for a Why are you wearing a weird head? Never mind. <laughs> is that the pillager beast? Yes, it is. Ravager's head. Okay, so my initial vote. I figure although... it's a nicer looking face than mine. <laughs> I do see what you're talking about with keeping it a natural palette so that it looks more like they did it. Um, yeah. But this is a palette that we build with all of the time. So I was thinking using our brick because we have not found anywhere else for it to naturally go. What, and like the, wow. The red brick? 
Yeah. Red brick and like white and do like almost like a Tudor kind of concept with like some really dark oak, which would allow very cute. Um <laughs> which would allow us to use dark oak doors instead. Okay. And is that Something gonna be just like for that? the houses or uh because try yeah. Then do you want me to use stone brick for the um nice job ace? <laughs> then do you want me to use um I'm sorry I, I got distracted by somebody jumping ahead um then do you want me to if we're going to use the the clay bricks for the houses do you want me to use stone brick for the wall hmm that's a very because good question we don't want we don't want too much brick because uh, if we were sticking with the, the natural palette, I was going to go with a cobble base and some logs interspersed with um, the metal Could you do something bars. fun with, like, stone and dark oak, and then we can use a little bit of the dark oak in the builds, but make them predominantly bri brick and white, and make the fence more of the dark oak, or whatever the darkest of the woods is? I think it's dark oak. Yeah, it is dark oak. How much dark oak do we have? One moment, up for four. I didn't bring that over here. I brought all the stuff for marking, demarcating the area. I shall be back. Okay, no, I mean, I've got, I've got a stack with me, and I've got saplings, so we can start raising up some more. But yeah, um, I was gonna grab the brick anyway, the brick and some bone well, blocks I am that way. Tentatively thinking about. Uh, is going to take a lot of lumber because I'm building with logs, not planks. If only someone wanted a tree farm. Oh, I wanted a tree farm, <gasps> but um, we we spent the weekend counting change. <laughs> okay. If only everyone realized how serious you I, were. I I I got a I got to give a little context. Uh, our mother got a new job, which is awesome. It's within the same company. It's in a location she really wants to be at. And it looks like it's going to be a lot better working environment to boot. Oh, and a pay raise. Always nice. Um, the, the flip side to that is we've got to help her move out of the house that she's been in since 94? Ish? Uh, 95. No, 96. Was it 96? I keep thinking the youngest was one was born there, so like late ninety five, early ninety six. Yeah, so it would have had to have been the summer of ninety five. Uh, oh, that makes it sound so old. <laughs> oh, don't, don't even, don't even. <laughs> anyway, so we're helping to clean up and pack over the weekend, and uh, we 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 found so much change in jars, in shoe boxes, in random cups. Um, like we, we might be, we were awfully close to, uh, we're about, uh, three quarters of the way to doubling the traveling stipend just with the change we had counted. Uh, we are actually more than that at this point. Oh, oh really? I, I didn't realize. Yeah. Yeah. Yikes. After you headed back, we uh, did some more and, uh, yeah. <laughs> We're, uh, it's a lot. We're just going to go with a lot. So, <laughs> so yeah. Wait, wait, so, you know, what, what I say, we, we went through uh, the weekend counting change instead of building a farm. Yeah, I mean, we were counting change. <laughs> and, and shredding papers and uh, and a lot of that. I, I noticed you started retraining and we haven't decided where we're going to call level. I was getting rid of the water. Where did Reyes go? Oh, I forgot that was a brick material. What? I went back to grab some more things from the storage unit, and I forgot that mm -hmm. another wart had a brick. Uh, yes, and I'm going to veto that one. Well, no, not as a suggestion, just as a, oh, this is a cool <laughs> thing that I forgot about. That's why we have pictures. 
No, I still want to use the brick brick. Yeah, no, because we don't right need now the brick is uh, Do you need any fun. of the stones while I am here? Um, I've got a box of smooth stone. I got a box of stone. I got a box of cobblestone, and I've got a box of andersite. Okay, but I should go ahead and grab all the clay. Oh, there's not much clay over here. Where did all of our brick go? Although I don't know why I keep sneaking an R in there because it's not spelled andersite. Uh, someone has all of our brick. Three guesses, and the first two don't count. I have a lot of brick. Uh-huh. <laughs> don't know that it's your brick. Mm-hmm. Since uh, I just went and got most of that from the, uh, trader out at my place. <laughs> and, uh, ooh. Is that, that? That's probably not going to be enough brick either. Good thing we got some stonemasons now. I, I am definitely happy about that part of uh, the village updates. You can yeah. get just about anything from some villagers. <laughs> yeah, we're going to need to get rid of like... almost anything from, at, with some villagers too. We're going to need to start hustling some dark oak. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, I just need to know what what I'm going to be uh, spending my time harvesting off camera when I can't sleep. <laughs> nope. That's why I was checking. Figure now is the time to ascertain these things. Mm-hmm. And uh, doesn't one of them trade for beet seeds? Um, I. Don't know if one of the guys in the hall will. Oh, wait, to get beetroot seeds or to. No, take. For diamonds. Emeralds? Yeah. Emeralds. The, the villagers don't give you diamonds. They will happily accept diamonds. Like everybody else. But. <laughs> I don't even know what um, that is. But I, I don't think any of the villagers that we have in the hall at the moment will accept beetroot seeds, or beetroots for that matter. Although if you need some fast emeralds, yeah, just grab some iron out of the iron farm and trade it with the guys in the back row. Oh, but we don't have enough. And bring a couple of stacks of iron with you, too. Okay. Because I forgot that. Seriously, you keep tearing oh, stuff down. wherever oh. will we get the iron? <laughs> do I take it from the iron chest in the storage, or do you want me to take it from... No, take it from, uh, take it directly from the farm. Or if you're in the storage area, from the storage. Well, I'm just trying to figure out, well, the arm firm's probably going to fill up more, so let me go grab it from the farm. Also, thank you for my grown-up brown llama. You're welcome. It's not a baby, but it was the ankle. Wow, we still need to clean up this area. Holy cow. Which area? Inside the trader hall. Uh, we still got to take care of the basement. We got to find a place to stash those librarians. And I need to finish, uh, finish the floor on the main level. But other than that, I, I think that about covers it. Oh, there's just boxes everywhere. Oh, yeah, because they're there for those pro other projects. <laughs> Alright, um... Yes, monsters. They're growing. They are. No, we're, we're, not, we're not that bad yet. What's this we? Hey, hey, you, you guys helped me with that project. I think my rail box is still over there, too. Uh, it's in the storage unit. We 
where all the shulkers lie. Hmm. Almost done. Okay, um, Heracadius, will you get brick? More? Yes. Much. Actually, I know what I should have been doing. How much uh, iron are we going to need? Do we need it in blocks or ingot? Um, that is a wonderful question. Um, I'm going to say bring a couple of stacks of blocks. And by a couple, I really do mean only two or three. Well, that's less fun. Arcadius, you're working on that, right? I am. You. Oh. What was that all for? You didn't answer earlier. What did you think the goats were going to be for? For serious, not not for not for Haggis. Um, I'm wondering if they're going to make them hostile until you tame them. You know, Who like some sort of territorial hostile? mob until you uh, until you tame them. I hope not. I was hoping they'd be cute. Well, those are not mutually exclusive. Things that you kill can you have are cute generally and hard. hostile. I mean, I, I know we, we've got Jubba around, and he is cute, but not hostile. And then there's Mom's dog, who is hostile, but not cute. And that's the truth. Oh, we can just trade emeralds for brick? Yeah. Yep. Oh. Where do I get emeralds? From the guys in the stone. By trading them brick. armor. Or, not armor, iron. <laughs> or you just <laughs> give the mason stone, because we have a ton of it, and... Yeah, you keep, you keep saying that, but I... Then we start big projects like this, and I don't want to get halfway through building a stone brick wall around a massive village and go, oh, if only I had some stone. So is that what all the iron that I got was for? Because I have a whole shulker box of iron. Uh, no, some of the... Uh, I just needed a couple of stacks for the fence. Oh, you have iron. Yeah, it... it, it it sounds like I definitely have more than a little iron. 
There might be some irony in that. Oh no. Oh, anyway, no, I'm hoping for adorable, adorable bouncing goats. Okay. And I want them to be able oh. to jump two blocks. Yes. Ooh. Yes. I am definitely with you on the jumping two blocks. Uh, because seriously, how do you have a mountain goat that doesn't jump two blocks? And if you take wool and a color, you can put the baby goats in pajamas. <gasps> okay, that would be cute. That is the weirdest dark oak tree. Did they change the way that they generate? Or is that because of the leaves? Also, this is absolutely amazing. Which? I'm just talking to this guy and he keeps giving me emeralds. <laughs> He's like, you're my best friend. Here, have some more. You're my best friend. And the best part is, is you keep doing that with him and he'll start giving you a better deal. Uh, I both love and hate that all the deals are, are seem to be on a per player basis. Wow. Okay, so who gives me the bricks? This guy? One of the masons. Give me ten. You, you give gotta me show ten. him the right kind of ring though. Oh wait, no. Wrong mason. Oh, we're going to be way more bricks than this. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, because yeah, it's uh, four bricks to make This is what I've got so block. far. In the uh, shulker behind you. And then we'll also need bone. Where do we go to get that? Uh, you go to my personal storage and grab that box of bone blocks. It's labeled Carnathy Dreams. For serious? <laughs> For serious. Oh, okay. That's helpful. What? Yep. Alright, and then I guess we need coal because we need to burn all of this. Ooh, I wasn't done filling that up. Oh. Wait. What, what do we need the coal for? To assemble the bricks? No, we have individual you, you... bricks, but I need to make them into... Yeah, you craft them. You only need the coal oh. if you're cooking the clay into brick. Oh. Okay. I have contributed to the box. They're not working anymore, so I gotta wait till morning. Alright, let's go ahead and head over there. Let's get the Carnassi Dreams. And we'll at least get the gun. No, it's night. Run! By the way, why, why do you need the bone for? Um, because it looks cooler than white when you're doing the brick. Ah. <laughs> it, it has a warmer tone. And we have plenty of it. Well, that. Alright, where are Very the Kathy sure. Dreams hiding? In my house. In the middle of the street. Yes, your house has many doorways. <laughs> in the in the storage area. When you walk in the, the front door of the, uh, the little uh, cottage. You have several boxes of bone, bone blocks, sir. Yeah. Holy cow. Oh, you know, I've just been slowly collecting them for just such an oh, occasion. Oh, no, that's not bone blocks. That's bone meal and bones in Carnathy Dreams. Uh, bone blocks or also xylophone be one that's bones? Nothing but bone blocks. Uh, there are a few of those. Yeah. So sadly, I am not taking the Carnathy Dreams. I am taking. Ooh, which one do I want? <laughs> they're the same thing. But they're labeled different. Yeah, I know. I, I get bored sometimes. Which ones are you looking at? So there's xylophone bones. Bone blocks by the box. <laughs> bone blocks box and them dry bones. I believe I'm going to take bone blocks by the box because I want to hear Arcadius say it. 
What, the bone block? Bone blocks by the box? <laughs> yes. Wee! Flying is fun. Okay. I have all the bases and beginnings of things. I'm headed back to the village. Wee! Alright, we have colors over there. Two, and then we have these. Alright, we has the beginnings. That was a little more than I wanted, but I'll take it. Starting on my uh, quest for more dark oak. Arcadia, how far away are you? On my way now. Okay, so once you are back, then we will assess our plan. So step one, pellet. I probably should ask before I destroyed all these uh, leaves, but are we going to decorate with some of the dark oak bushes? Mm, probably. Or are we going to use a different one? Depends. I feel like we can assess that later. Now the more important thing is getting dark oak in spades. So our palette is going to be a two. Uh. Not necessarily this particular pattern. I just wanted to get something up and running so that we have conversation starter of sorts. other stuff out of my uh, inventory. That I'll put back in my storage. That I'll put back in my storage. That well, no. I brought that out here for a reason. Uh, that can stay in there for now. That'll hang on to you. That, those guys will hang on to you. Okay, that frees up a little space. Some shrubs. Yes, shrubs Prefer are good. <laughs> Preferably mixed by somebody who knows how to actually handle a knife. Yeah. Oh, well, I guess I do need that. Uh, what don't I need? I don't need the trident at the moment. For those of you that don't know, uh, one of my favorite YouTube channels, The Modern Rogue, had a 
uh, their favorite bartender on to mix up some drinks. And Arcadius, who is our resident chef, was watching him cut up some fruit to make a shrub. And was giving him the Russian treatment, <laughs> the Russian judge treatment on uh, his cutting technique. <laughs> it was glorious. To not be the one that that was directed at. It's for serious. I'm not even allowed in the kitchen. With good reason. I uh, I do yeah, yeah. I mean. Hey. There, there. Well, you know, it's better now. I mean. I haven't blown up a microwave in a really long time. <laughs> I, I was trying to figure out how to surreptitiously acknowledge that that was where I, what I was thinking of without actually throwing oh, no, you under I totally the bus. It. No, I, <laughs> I blew up multiple microwaves, and it was... I think I've told this story on life, though, before. I'm pretty positive we have. Yeah, I'm pretty yeah. sure we've told the story about the hydrogen Maybe bomb. you can find it and link it somewhere. <laughs> All right, so this is our palette. Yes, not again. It won't look like this, not nope. necessarily with the striping, but just for context. Hang on, I was over there harvesting trees. So this is going to be the basic style of the houses, or all the buildings in the village. Or are we going to do something different for the shops? I think the shop should maybe be done with unique materials to, you know, kind of make it really obvious which kind of shop. All right, cramps. Stretch my back just wrong and it all kind of seized up. Oh. Happens when you get old. So what are we going to do for the gate? Um, well, that, that's what I was wondering, because if we're going to do the red brick, then yeah, I was going to play with a couple of different designs, but mostly looking at either, uh, let me not get the axe out of my hand before I accidentally strip a log or two. Um, of course, I don't have any of it handy. Uh, my original goal was maybe a cobblestone base, about three wide, and then do some alternating uh, wood poles, metal fence gates. Actual cobblestone? Uh, well, cobblestone was the first bit when we, if we were going to stick with the original uh, natural material palette. But since we're using since we're using these guys, um, uh, looks like night. Mm -hmm. It is a reasonable facsimile of night. Okay. Um. All right. So we have these, and then what? Well, uh, no, I was actually thinking. Since we're going to use stone brick, you or since we're using the red brick, use the stone brick. The first yeah, run of cobble better. was going to be if we were going to continue with the uh, natural area or the natural. Oh, gotcha. Landscape. Okay. All right. But so since we've been. already ruled that out. Oh, hello. Oh. Base. Um. But I hadn't really thought that much further. I just know that to do the gate that I'd like to do, I'm going to need this to be at least three wide. Okay. Maybe now, does the entire wall need to be three wide, or just the gateway area, and we can taper it back down? Um, I wouldn't mind it looking a little hefty. 
Yeah, okay. yeah, that, that's kind of what I was thinking. Okay. Um, was keeping a, a chunky wall. Okay. I like big walls, and I cannot lie. Seriously, you are the you went there. You are yep. the correct. Just can't deny. Yep. This is about to get bad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh oh. Somebody's falling. No, I just up? got stepped on by a tree. Um, and either doing something with a uh, stone fence in the middle or the iron fence in the middle. Or alternating between the two. Well, probably not alternating between the two because then a mob can actually walk in between them. Yeah, no, mix it up, but it, yeah, yeah. that sounds good. I'd leave that there so we have a palette reference. All right, and that takes care of number one. Pallet. I would probably pick up the pallet and move it off to the side. That way we can actually get a good idea of what the center of town is and how well, we want to... Well, we're not that center of town yet. That That's a, that's a later discussion. One momentum, please. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. All right, so uh, that is topic number one. Ooh, the moss looks good in there. Yep. Uh, I'm definitely going to have to put together a, a vine farm again. I'll probably make something temporary out here since this is where we're mostly going to need it. But uh, I kind of wish that they, they made a cracked, cracked uh, brick fence, but they don't. The only thing you can do with a cracked brick is uh, slabs and blocks. Sadness. Yeah. Okay. So discussion number two, when you are rehabbing a village, after you decide what pallet is, are we re-leveling the terrain? Yes or no? I was thinking picking somewhere in between where the top is now and where the bottom is, so we still get a little bit of gradation. Like, it would be nice to have a little bit of a, a slope down to the water kind of deal, but have the bulk of the village on a particular level. Okay. Oh, so, like, level with the lowest house, which I believe is... This one? Is that the lowest one? Or is it this guy back, I believe. Uh, back here? The uh, lowest farm is two above sea level. Highest farm is... Yeah. I think I'd like to go up. with this guy. Uh, the one that I'm standing next to right now? Yes. Call that our level. And then level this it out from here. This is ground. Yep. Alright. We're leveling this? Like flat? This is going to be the flat level. And then gradiate from there. But for most of the houses to be on level, what do you think? Um, <laughs> careful where you dig. There's still a couple of villagers under, uh, oh, <laughs> they might not actually, be happy I with don't you know that I have the shovel. too much of an opinion on it. Um, I don't necessarily want a super flat village, but in a village, they're, they're not going to keep mountainous terrain here. So naturally they would have leveled it somewhat so i can i can see what you're saying about bringing it mostly to a level yeah yeah, yeah and bring, like if there's any of the village to that level, it would be on the edge know, yeah. give, give a couple of a couple of dips here and there but nothing nothing big but definitely so that way as you go towards the water you have to go down a little bit and down a little bit and you just mentioned the villagers. Why don't we go ahead and get them moved somewhere? <laughs> like, drop them in a boat and put them in a box somewhere off to the side. So we don't have to worry about, oh, I don't know, smacking them with a shovel. <laughs> uh, well, that would beg the question of where are we going to move all of our materials and the villagers so that they're out of the way, which would come back to Permitter, which I believe is the next... The next uh, one? No, scale is next. Scale. Well, okay. scale and perimeter are kind of intrinsically tied. 
they are very much. So, how big are we going to go with this? I want to use the whole like, island. Um, This isn't an island. This isn't an island. <laughs> <laughs> That's it no island. It looks like an island. Uh, I think this is a peninsula. It's a big round room. <laughs> yeah, this, this is a little bit more uh, peninsula-ish. This is... Penin uh, actually, no, she might be right. This might be an island. No, 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 she's right. This is an island. This is a very big oh, island. Oh, what? <laughs> okay, maybe not the whole island then. Um, but uh, like this part here. Yeah, yeah, that's that. that that's definitely a bit not much the whole of, island. Okay. That, uh, um, yeah, that's but, a bit much for the island. Um, all right, let me make some. Let's see, what color are we going to use for perimeter? Actually, I was going to say, actually, go ahead and start using the stone bricks since I'm going to have to incorporate that into the wall anyway. And drop one well, every five blocks or so. Just doing yeah. a proposal. Um, oh, because it would right. be so hard to pick up and move the stone brick? Yes, it is terribly hard. I just can't do it. All right, where's some stone brick? Here, I'll craft up some more here in a second. So my thought is, boop, boop, boop. let us come this way. Oops, we nope. <laughs> uh, are you flying with a tickle me, pickle me, tickle me too? Oop. <laughs> Went for a ride in a flying shoe. Hooray! It's time we fun. <laughs> Um, so I think here-ish, maybe? So it's got some front lawn to it? <laughs> some front lawn. <laughs> yeah, I guess that might be the better thing to do, is get get uh, get our corners at least. Because are, are you going to make this squirrelier, or are you going to shape it a little bit no, to the terrain? No, I was going to make it very organic-y. Who are you, and what have you done with rest? <laughs> anyway, um, how many spaces wide do you need for your doorway thing? Uh, I'm thinking at least three. It's been a while since I built those gates, so I'm going to have to go back and revisit the uh, the diagrams for that. But I want to say oh, okay. at least three. Ooh, and that does raise another issue. Um, when I built, I built that gate. Oh, are you talking about wide or deep? Wide. Uh, as far as wide, I can make it as wide as we like, from anywhere from two to uh, many more. As far as the redstone signal will go, so 15, 14. No, sorry, the way the, the signal runs, uh, it, well, no, I could probably stretch that, so yeah, probably about 14-ish. No, I'm not making a 14 wide gate. I didn't ask you to. <laughs> but uh, anyway, part of the, part of the gate design is using gravity blocks, uh, like sand or uh, concrete powder or something like that. And the way I made that work in my castle is all the pathway is sand. So the gravity block doesn't look out of place when it's when the gate is up or down or whatever. Uh, which brings us to the question of what what do we want to make our path out of? Because we can't use path blocks if we need to push it with the gate. Gravel. Gravel. Do we have enough gravel? Gravel to would make look that good work? with this pallet. Well, I mean. We can. Um, anyway. Um, do we want to do gravel or do we want to do gray concrete powder? Or light gray concrete powder? I forgot that colored powder was an option. Yeah. Because uh, you're right. I don't think sand's going to quite work. Although, I mean, there sure is enough of it around nearby. Uh, <laughs> uh, and I, I am down for gravel. Don't hear it. I'm not saying. Uh, I just, yeah. Let's Want to go make back sure to our pallet blocks, which, the by options. the way, I moved to the at-level space so that it's easy to remember which building is level. 
Ah. Um. Hmm. So if we're going to have this and a little bit of gray in the wall, because it's going to be the stone and iron and... The gravel would look good. Gravel or light gray concrete, but if we're going to do that, that just seems like a waste of sand and you might as well just go with gravel. Uh, the light gray concrete powder would use half as much gravel. And, and unless somebody found a gravel biome and didn't say anything, I do question if we have enough gravel oh, well, use... for as build as it seem, as big a build as it seems like you're trying to do. Let's use light gray concrete powder then. Arcadius? I, I may have found a gravel biome. But oh, that you okay. may have not decided to share with anyone? That I, I may have already stripped. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> it stripped as in you used it in all the concrete powder for other things, or um, you actually have the uh, the gravel? I, I think I have a shulker box plus whatever's left at my base. Everything else went into uh, <clears throat> artwork. Ah. Um, in that case, then I'm going to go back to the concrete powder because if you're building, <laughs> if you're building a gateway out on this side, I uh, we we'll, we'll probably get a fair amount of road ahead of us. Three wide, okay, so yeah. That's I'm thinking. Well, and that is the, the question: village. Are we going to stick with a three wide path, or are we going to cut it down to two? I no. think one is too thin. Two. Oh yeah, give one is you. definitely too thin. And, and, and I know Reyes has a thing against thing. even numbers, so, uh... Three. Yeah. So the counting shall be three? Yes. Okay, so yeah, we're, we're gonna get a lot of light gray powder. Okay, so I'm thinking that if this Which is our main gate... We're, we're gonna have to fix that ink farm. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to. <laughs> what happened to the ink farm? Um, it, it's just it's not producing quite. Farm. Huh? It's a great pillager farm. <laughs> I know. So many other things keep falling into the killing chamber that aren't squid. That's awesome. Anyway, we are still debating scale, which is only number three yes. on our list. So I would definitely like to up the scale a little bit and make the homes look a little bit grander. So okay. I'm thinking this is yeah. our western. So you mean these aren't going to be the side? tiny Japanese apartments? No. That's going to be the west side. And How many gates I would are we like to in? put one. I was actually uh, maybe a small. Small gate or a couple of iron doors down to a fishing pier over here. Do we want the dungeon entrance to be in here with it? Or outside? Well, that was one of my questions earlier. And it sounded like you were for having this inside. I am, but I didn't know that if you guys had chimed in. I would definitely, if we do, if we do make it inside... I would want to put a proper entrance that is villager safe. We need to villager proof the entrance. Kind of like child oh, yeah, proofing, totally. but you know, villagers. Although looking at this natural terrain, uh, it would make more sense more for the end to be. Away. Sorry. Thank you. It would make more sense for the end of the town to be here, wouldn't it? Just based on natural terrain. Well, unless you want to move the pier. I mean, yeah, it does get a little narrow here, but honestly, I would be okay with taking some of the dirt that we pull out from leveling this out and fill in this little one deep bay that we've got over here. Okay. And then just spreading out the terrain to where it drops off sharply. All right, well, let's make it here then. Oh, that's how you fall. That's not how you... I wish that there were a tape measure in Minecraft. Uh, then we're getting out of vanilla and into modded. Oh, but it would geez. be really cool to be able to, like, 
click on a post and have a string of sorts. Oh look, there's a flaming zombie. Oh, okay. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking that be the end of the village, and then the sides kind of proportionately spaced out. How does that sound? Uh, sorry, I was trying to mark off the area that I was talking about. Oh wait, you're gonna kill the turtles home? No. They'll still be able to get in. Okay. Where'd he go? Uh, but yeah, so I didn't grab enough grass blocks. But yeah, cut it off here and then fill in oh, this is. backside where you're standing. I'm done with that. That'll give us a little more room to work that's a little less awkward to work with. That's but fair. we're definitely going to harvest the sand and the concrete, or the sand and the concrete, the sand and the gravel so we can make the concrete. Totally. Okay, Waste yeah, so enough. I think from the post I put up there to the post that I put back here, and then whatever that is running north to south as well. Yeah, I saw Arcadius leading two cows on, and I thought that there was a, a glitch with a wandering trader. <laughs> That'd be a great mock pack. <laughs> <laughs> Is that one of those things that you could set up so that way, you know, because the llamas, it, that, that's definitely a mountains thing, but like out in the plains, you, you, you get a, a two mules or, you know, two cows or something like that. Two chickens. <laughs> that's all in the Sahara. So. Okay. So from that gate that you set up over there to this post yep. over here. Mm -hmm. And then that same basic distance in the other two cardinal directions? Correct. What do we think? Uh, Haters make water look so cool. I do get distracted. Because we got to have enough houses fish. for... Yeah. <laughs> uh, we have to have enough houses for the people to live in. And oh, for them to all have can, jobs. You can have more than one villager in a house. But Matter then it looks less busy when they should. run around. Yeah. Um, no, I'm not saying I'm not saying make, you know, the Slim Lord apartment of eighteen, you know, villagers crammed into a house. Oh, so it's not like college or dormitory? No. Uh oh. No, we're not gonna make villager bunk beds or anything. <laughs> That sounds like a wonderful idea. <laughs> uh, hmm. All right. So, why why do we have all these animals led over here? You don't want to know what he's doing with animals. <laughs> Remember the last time we found him with animals? We're, I didn't want them to die off. Put it that way. We're going to need them to make this place look a little lively. So when we have the butcher shop, we can put the sheep in look, there. Or, look, if, know, if, we, if we need chickens, I can totally make some chickens happen. Oh my goodness. No, we, we have chickens. We don't need more chickens. All right, so that takes care of Gale and Perimeter. Uh, now we need to decide well, where that um, leaves center. Well, if we're going to set the four cardinal points at equidistant from each other, that kind of leads to a natural center, doesn't it? Unless we want an off-center center. I mean, that's generally how science works, so yes. Uh, all the <laughs> that still begs the question of, do we really want the four cardinal directions to be uh, equidistant? Um, I was going to... As soon as it, the game actually lets me sleep, I was going to measure out the uh, 
the distance between those two posts because yeah that does seem to be as wide as I would like it or as wide as I'm willing to to fight for but <laughs> okay. I, I don't know if that's going to be how that's going to look as far as depth goes okay well if you'll start figuring that out I'm going to start killing grass So that is... Arcadius, did you get the things to make a beacon? I always have the things to make a beacon. Okay. Um, then will you help me level the world? In the middle here. The world. Alright, so that... Although if we had the digging beacon, that would help, wouldn't it? I'm willing to wait on the beacon just so I don't have to move it. Because I think the plan was to put the beacon in dead center, wasn't it? Correct. Yep. Yeah, the point was to put the beacon at the center to give us an idea of where our center was going to be. That's a nice uh, 128 blocks. Uh, so I guess the we'll move the it out question... one more. Hmm? We'll move it out one more to make it 129. Yeah, Otherwise, 128 three is a very half blocks won't work. Number. You will... no, but yes. no. Yes. No. Then the path blocks. No. No. Then we have an off-centered center. Yes. Yeah, but. 128 is one of those nice binary numbers that, that works really, really beautifully in computers. Yes, yeah, but, but this is not, not a villages. computer. <laughs> Actually, it, yes, this is a computer. You can have 128 <laughs> when the villagers have programmer jobs. Uh, well, the cleric does have some redstone. That is not the same, and you know it. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, it's kind of hard to say 128, 129 from where to where if we uh, don't at least figure out where a starting point is. Like, do we want to go ahead and make the front, like, here-ish? Like, use the original road as our, our starting point? We can. That would probably make this a little bit easier. Okay. Which means that I need to move those posts over a little bit more. One more to be precise. Ba doop. That is 588, and I need to go minus 129. Four fifty nine. I need to drop the next set of posts. What did I say I need to do? you wanted to argue for bigger. Is it too big? 
can scale down a little bit and now would be the time to speak up. Well, uh... So from the tree farm to where I'm pillaring up would be front to back. Whoa. That's huge. <laughs> ah, let's do it. We said we wanted bigger, bigger projects, right? We did. We mm -hmm. wanted to learn mm -hmm. big projects. Plus, plus that, uh, that actually puts it within rendering distance from the sandcastle. Oh, that's super cool. So we'll have a tale of two cities. Except it won't be boring. Ooh. Wow. That was mean. You were mean to literature. <laughs> no, I like no, literature. I... I didn't like a tale of two cities. Dang. Katie, do you have any grass blocks? I mean, no. it was the best of times, but it was also no more. Really? Yeah. Really, really. All right, so I'm pretty sure that that means that you're going to want to put a gate over at the front by where the, the, the sand castle is. Do you still want a gate off to the side where you put the two posts? And then just not have a back gate, or do you want a back gate as well? Do you want to, or do you want a gate at each of the cardinal directions? Um, I think each of the cardinal directions is a little excessive. Um, well, and again, we don't have to make them centered either. Truth. Um,. This one's not really facing towards anyone that I already set up, is it? No. That is facing out into the wilds. Uh, I mean, it's kind of sort of towards where your base is. We also have that giant pillar of water that we'd set up way back when we were regularly traveling this way for some reason. That I don't think any of us can recall. There's probably a mine shaft or something down that way. There is a mine shaft there. Okay. Um, so okay. now we're at. Um, and we don't have to I'm set up all the gates the same size either. We could also set up like uh, a main gate over by the desert temple. And then a couple of smaller gates scattered hither and yon. That is very true. All right. Oh, oh, there's a creeper there. Creepers, creepers. <laughs> what is halfway? Uh, whatever half of 129 is. 64. Uh, 64 and a half. That, that's part of the problem of pushing it out quite like that. So this is 64. Oh, so the well is actually at the center of the that axis? Yes. <laughs> uh, wow. One, Let me double check two, myself. Three, four, five, six, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Oh, no. Yeah, it's definitely not the center on the other axis. 
That is pretty cool, though, that it, we get it at least half right just out the gate. Wow, okay, yep. It is exactly 63 bucks to from the... If you count the stone that I placed down as one, mm -hmm. it is... The block in the middle is 64. Or that block that I placed is um, 64. Well, then, do we want the center to be in the actual mathematical center? Or do we want the center, since the market's going there, to be a little closer to the main gate anyway? So, in other words, we just leave that well as our main center point, you know, refurbish the well so it actually looks better. And make that the, the town center. Build the shops around this end near the main gate. And then put the housing towards the back and the sides. One, yeah, no, 20, that could work. 39. Yeah, maybe throw some housing to, or some uh, a couple of farms to divide up the housing, or uh, put it off to one side, maybe, because we got to give the farmers a place to work. Five. dare ask? What? Trying to figure out what you're doing. I was trying to see how close I was. I was literally one block off on the side. <laughs> what, from <laughs> being centered? <laughs> well, from being the exact mathematical difference. Well, no, because originally it was 128 and you wanted 129. So, you would move that the that uh, pillar one more block closer to you anyway. What's 63 plus 63? 128? 126. No, this is right. 64 plus 64 is 128. Alright, well, right there. And it should be 63 away from the middle block. Why 63? No, I'm confused. Because I'm not counting this, because this is 64, so I'm not counting this, so the block next to mm -hmm. I'm counting as 63. So this is the plus one. One of us is confused, and I'm not sure who. It's you. Yeah, because 64 in either direction would make it 128 total. You said you didn't want well, I ended up making it you 127. Which would mean that one wall uh, okay, or the other go one more, is going to need to get pushed so out one more. 64 on either side and then that block is number 65 is in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm actually okay, going to say so leave I... leave the wall yeah. out by the lake or out by the lake. Out by the water where you have it and we'll just move this guy over here back one more. Okay. Since there's a little more land on that side and we're not working around the water that way. Okay. Actually, that means yours has to go out too. Why two? Because I have to move the center one. Because I just moved these in. Oh, okay. From where you had this block before to where you had those blocks over there was 128 blocks. For forget about the center thing for a second. 
you wanted 129. That means either this guy needs to go back one or that guy over there needs to go out one. Okay, my initial pull over here, I already moved back one though. Out away from the village or in? No, in closer to the village. After we already counted the 128? Correct. Which is why you need to move the end out too. Because you already moved that other goalpost. Exactly. Stop moving goalposts. <laughs> okay. Everybody on the same page? I think so. Okay. If not, we'll, we'll figure we'll it out. We'll find out when something doesn't measure right. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Um, right. So 64 from center, not including center. If this is the true center. I am okay with this not being true center. This if, is just the east-west center. If that center. is 65, if that is the odd man out, then yes, it would be 64 mm -hmm. in either direction. Correct. So are we going to go 65 in the direction you are headed? Um... No, I was actually thinking let's leave let's leave the main gate up here where it is and the back gate okay. or the back uh, wall where it is that will okay. put our well close to the main entrance so the shops and all that will be close to the main entrance and the living quarters will be out towards the back Weird question, why is the back closer to our base where we'll be coming in shouldn't the main entrance be where we'd typically be flying in the main entrance is towards where we'd typically be f oh wait no 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 it wouldn't be oh sorry <laughs> dyslexic thought um well then yeah then we would want to move the well closer towards the other side yep and then build the main One, gate that way. I, I, I have this backwards for some reason. 12, 13, 14. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, what? 25. Why aren't you just using F3 and math the numbers? What was that giggle for? And why aren't we asking you? You're a resident math lead anyway. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but I'm busy. I'm, I'm terraforming right now. I'm sorry. All right. This is the 65th block. <laughs> are, are, are we really doing this again? That answer is yes. I thought we were just going to move the well over towards this side. We can, but just so I know, because I thought the bell had to be in the exact center of where you wanted the people to run around. No, it doesn't have to be. It becomes the center. Oh. Oh, okay. See, I thought it had to be in the mathematical center. No. No, it becomes the mathematical center, whether you want it to be or not. Um, oh, okay. But for our purposes, no, it doesn't matter. It, it can be wherever we want to put it. Okay. We just got to make sure that we have this place lit up. And lit up enough that uh, we don't have to worry about something spawning inside. To include pillager patrols. They will not spawn as long as the light levels are appropriate. Oh, there will be lighting because I will be in charge of it. Not certain other people. Ah. Because if we leave it to other people, then it will look like Halloween. Who took the bell? The bells, 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 bells. Yes. The ringing and the chiming of the bells. There's the bells. Okay. 
the bells of lol. All right. So let us decide where the bell is going to go. So where do you want the well to be? Because that's going to be center, right? Yeah. Uh, yes, for varying definitions, the center. Okay, where do we want the bell to go? Uh, sorry, I'm trying to clear out a little bit of my inventory. I'm having inventory management issues. Ah. And I gotta figure out where ground level is, or are we okay with the the hill kind of rolling down a little bit towards the gate? And how far out? I, I'm like, okay with it not being perfectly flat. I, I just want, like, the primary of, like, it to look like they did some terraforming for real. Okay. Yeah, not the <laughs> hodgepodge that they had before with random. Yeah, before it was a little too random. Yeah, randomly <laughs> random. Yeah. All right, I need to find my bed. It's in the trees. It's in the dark forest. <laughs> I, I, I don't like my bed being in the dark forest. I've read fairy tales. I know what comes next. Hey, it's legit the dark forest. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it is. All right. So I can start plotting out the gate. Uh, how far out are we going to build on the level that we've currently designated ground zero? I'm good with calling it where it's at. Okay, um, you know, instead of figuring out the train, let me just, let me Here, pull. let me hand you this. I, I have no inventory space. You can hand me that all you want, but it, never mind. it's not going <laughs> to. Well, never mind then. There you go. I've done a majority of the village flattened. Well, and I'm uh, putting the stone bricks in this box. Yeah. Because what I was realizing is that um, before I can really dig into the terrain and the wall, I just need to do like the, the contractors in our glorious state do and just level all the trees and we'll repent, replant more later. Oh, okay. That has the added benefit of adding to our lumber supply anyway, so. I was about to ask if we were going to burn them or if we were going to actually. Uh, uh, we can't burn them because fire tick is off, remember? Oh. Yeah, that's sad. Uh, no, wait, wait, are sad. you saying that the fire tick being off is sad? Because <laughs> I seem <laughs> to remember that, that when I suggested that, you know, buildings not burn down when you set a fire near them. Uh, somebody was awfully happy about that. Okay, that that was simply because, yeah. Well, let's just also, say when I, you set TNT next to people's builds. Well, I well that doesn't help. Well, that. I can turn that off, but I'm not going to turn that off. That turns off the TNT powered farms too. I hate oak trees. I hate oak trees with a passion. If uh, rage quit, like. The last uh, server because of that. <laughs> yeah, no, no. I we we've gone into that story. Unless we need to therapy time another story. Yeah, no, I'm good. I'm good. I mean, Frozen Two is coming out, so we can let it go again. Oh <laughs> no! <laughs> no. No. Are you ready for that? No, all the children. Yes, I know. Every child. Everybody. Who wants to play everybody is. Oh, everybody is going to be playing that badly. Mhm. Mm Maybe I should sing that at the recital. Because who doesn't want a tenor? Let it go. And you should do it with jazz, too.
with jazz hands. I don't work in the education department yes. anymore. Uh, for, for context, um, no, never mind. That's too long to get into with only a half hour left on the stream. Remind me about that <laughs> next week. <laughs> there, there is some context for that one in, in a couple aspects. <laughs> Make sure you go back and pick up all the uh, sticks that drop from the leaves. We're going to need them. Yep, yep. We also had a small patch that wasn't quite level yet, so. Correcting well, that. I figured we, I figured once we got all the trees out the way, we could then get a better sight on uh, the terrain work that needed doing. Well, it's also allowing me to uh, hang around long enough to collect all the falling stuffs. Ah. Arcadius, where you at? I'm getting rid of the dark tree uh, forest over here. And planting one anew? I can. Hey, planting one anon. Ha ha. <laughs> uh, I still haven't gotten... I mean, uh, other, th other than the suggestions that you've sent me, I still haven't gotten any uh, suggestions for the second channel. And the stuff that I want to kind of stuff little clips and odd odd and end type bits. I really want to figure out a nice good punny name. Now, well, I know some I can... of you are watching this off, uh, not on stream, but later. So uh, anytime y'all want to chime in in the comments, please feel free. Something punny. Preferably riffing on and on. I'm gonna say I know one person who watches this who uh, is friends with a uh, certain vocal teacher who has a rather dorky, wonderfully witty sense of humor. Those yeah. two should probably uh, think of a name <laughs> and uh, let us know. Oh yeah, yeah. Would they happen to be friends with Giovanni? Well, at least one of them is. <laughs> I'm not sure if they wish to be named or how they wish to be named, so I'm going to hold that, off on yeah, calling no, them out verbally until I I'm, know for sure yeah. how or if they are cool. That's with why being I'm trying to be dressed. both. Uh, is it possible to be bluntly coy? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it is. And okay. I'm pretty sure at this point in time they know who they are. find a use for all this regular oak. Ah, charcoal for the dark ink. There we go. Problem solved. I do like charcoal. Ah, or charcoal for the torches. Because with torches and no, iron farm... No, not doing torches. We, no, no, no. Torches plus iron farm means lanterns. Okay, that that's acceptable. <laughs> Very acceptable. <laughs> your tune quick didn't it <laughs> just a little bit I don't want ugly yeah I I hope that there's some other lighting block that gets kind of added by surprise but yeah, I don't like the lantern was a beautiful addition yeah the la the lantern was a very beautiful addition I, I kind of wish that there was a way to do hidden lighting better that wasn't throw a carpet over the top of it. And I, I just, I don't, I don't have any good ideas of what that would look like. You know, so, so you wanted to, so you wanted to light something up. Um, like a black light? Um... I don't even know about a blacklight. I know that Cub Fan had a video 
a while back. Ooh. Really? No audio? Uh, hmm. That's odd. Don't know. We had no audio this whole time. Uh, well, I mean, I'm looking at the input meter on the streaming software, and it looks like it's coming through on this side. Who's in the chat? Medic is. Oh. Or is he not picking up on your audio? No. Medic. Uh, audio is coming through, according to uh, Twitch on my end. Okay, and the chat's been coming through there too? Yeah. Okay. Interesting. It isn't muted, is it? Because I know every now and again Twitch will pop up muted for me. I think Twitch always comes up muted for me. <laughs> I always have to unmute it. Uh, and I, I do kind of appreciate that, though. Just because I, I don't want the random audio from whoever happens to be featured on the page. This is true. I'm not I'm not upset about that. It's just... It's weird. <laughs> it's an every time thing. Yeah. I don't know. It looks an awful lot like night. I should be able to sleep now. What if there was, like, a lighting pane panel of some sort that you could, like, dye the light? Um, yeah, some Kinda sort of like the light. lanterns? But, like, if you could dye a lantern. Kind of like putting um, a gel over a light. But it, like, maybe reduced the amount of color you were getting. Or the amount uh, of light level. Actually, not even thinking uh, reducing the light level so much as maybe get uh, make sea lanterns dyeable, so that way you can uh, blend them in with your your blocks a little bit better. That would be cool because I think the texture so in other of the sea words, lantern you want to you want to light well. up your you want to light up your uh, black castle, but you don't want to have obvious lighting all over the place. So dye a sea lantern black. And then it fits Quick, in with someone the suggested better. Mojang. Um, I know Cub Fan had a video a while back, and uh, he had the idea of being able to lay down glowstone like you would redstone. So you take down some. So you take some glowstone dust. And then just kind of toss that at a spot on the ground, and it would give you a light level, uh, you know, a certain level. And then you lay down a second one on the same block, and it emits a little bit more. And then you lay down a little bit more on another block, and it emits a little bit more. And that way you could get a little more controlled lighting without having an obvious light source. Uh, which, at first glance, sounds really good. But uh, there were some implications that I thought of at the time that I, I'm struggling to recall right this second that made me think oh, yeah, I just want colored it. sea lanterns. Dyeable sea lanterns <laughs> would, would make me happy. <laughs> colored sea lanterns. Mm -hmm. And actually, that, that would be a... That would be a much more thematic way to approach it. It, it would be a little more really in keeping cool. with the idiom of the game and the options in the game. Uh, because you got all sorts of other diable things. Although, honestly, uh, I'd love to see them uh, add wood stains. So if you want different colors of wood instead of having to add a different tree with a different texture and a different color lets you use dye to stain wood planks. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, they've already got the, the wheel color going on for horse armor. Like, Yeah. And from, from what I understand, it was, uh, 
I mentioned that to Azumavoid in one of his live streams, and he mentioned that it was something they had played with a while back. And for whatever reason, it just had a failure to launch. And I'm wondering if now is a good time to revisit that. Because, but, because the game is a lot different than it was at that time. Uh, there's a lot more it options. Does. It would fit a little bit better. You've got... Um, you've got Lost in the Field and... Oh, no, there it is. Okay. Yeah, so you've got a lot more uh, in-game support for that sort of thing, too. Because there wasn't a whole lot that you could die before, and now we've got so many different dieable options that it would make a really nice, a really nice fix. Um, going back it to it also looked cool too. Yeah, but again, going, yeah. then you could actually, you know, going back to your black castle, you could have some wood tones in there with maybe a light gray or dark gray, without having. Acacia Bark being the only gray option that you have. That's fair. Because, um, I mean, I like it, and it works on a lot of builds that are gray-themed, but it doesn't It doesn't work in everything, and I, I, I wouldn't mind having other options uh, to include having some of the strip logs, but gray. Or planks, but gray. And it seems kind of like the logical <laughs> successor to the uh, color update that, you know, that brought us the concrete and all the other fun colored blocks. But going back to what Rest was saying about uh, sea lanterns being diable, could you imagine how cool a black sea lantern would look with that yeah. white glow in the middle? <laughs> and and maybe not even a white glow, like. It, uh, put a put a color gradient on it, so it actually comes down to more of a gray. So it it would fit in with terracotta or concrete of a similar color. Hmm. That could work. But either way, that that sounds awesome. A black block yeah. that gives off light that would be so easy to work with. <laughs> Yeah, it would give you a lot of options for adding lighting to a build that doesn't make you want to hide it all. Well, the way I'm imagining it is it looking just like the sea lanterns do now with like the solid color on the outside and then the color yeah. tone fading to white on the inside. So whatever the math on that is. Yeah. yeah. So what I was imagining in my head. But. I just, yeah, yeah, I, that I, sounds cool. I, I'm not sure that I'd want it to fade all the way to white, though. But definitely no, something but to a very a light high... version of itself. Yeah, yeah. So, something with a higher light tone to it. Uh, inventory space. Uh, we're going to need some more boxing out here, aren't we? I'm working on it now. Okay. Oh, found something to do with all the dough, huh? <laughs> yeah, that too. Um, hanging onto the birch. That's usually in short supply. I finished the first row and I'm working on the second for uh, Dark Oak. Nice. How much of it did we need? Was it an accent block or was this supposed to be a primary block? It's going to be a pretty predominant block. Ah, yeah. okay. It's, it's going to feature block. heavily in the, uh, in the yeah. fence. In the fence also? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. boy. Yeah, we're, we're going to need a lot of it. Oh boy. <laughs> yep. So about that tree farm. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Uh. <laughs> what are you doing? 
doing? Stop helping. I, did, I didn't realize that you were trying to work in the same box. I love how we have our farm animals on a beautiful pedestal. Uh, I didn't feel like breaking the, the fence and having to re- Oh, no, 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 no. You, you're fine. I, I just, I... Fresh meat on display. <laughs> That's pretty much what they are. They're set decoration pieces for the butcher's house whenever we finish. Well, it sounds kind of like when you go and pick out your lobster. Yes. Yeah, kind of. It's what like in the boys? Oh, no. <laughs> I thought we were keeping your rating. Yeah, no, and that that is definitely one of those ones that I will stop there because uh, while it was a very entertaining TV show, it is not for the um, rating level of this channel. And I believe I still have it set at teen because every time I went to play World of Tanks, it would reset my level to teen. <laughs> hmm, I can't imagine why. Who are you playing with? Uh, well, no, I don't think it was that. I think it was more the World of Tanks game, um, even though I covered the chat, and that you know should have solved a lot of things. I covered the chat with my camera. It made life a lot, a lot better. I don't think that's what was the issue. I think the game itself is yeah. rated teen. So. Yeah, no, no, the game the game itself is rated teen. But then again, so Star Wars: Knights of the Old Republic. That game is rated teen, but it doesn't change my. Uh, it doesn't bump my rating up. Yeah, but it was rated teen during what time period? Two thousand three. It wasn't that far ago. Old. Uh, the only point is, like, not all not all teen ratings are created equal. Uh, some of the suggestions that you have in Knights of the Old Republic, I probably should bump my rating back up to teen. Because <laughs> I are mean, they, 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 are su they are suggesting some things in there. Like, there's sometimes they ain't suggesting anything. <laughs> yeah, there there are sometimes, and I'm like, and this got a teen rating? How did that happen? Like. Just because it's Star Wars doesn't mean it's family friendly. <laughs> and I, I do have a couple of things that I want to talk about Star Wars on uh, Thursday's stream when Knights of the Republic goes up. Uh, had a little time today to catch up on a couple of YouTube channels. Um... One of the ones that I do try to keep good tabs on is, is run by a guy uh, who goes by Thor Skywalker. So you can guess which two franchises he absolutely loves. I, I don't think I can. No? No, no. And anyway, yeah, just what some, of the, some of the discussion in the last few videos was rather interesting. And I, I do want to comment on a couple of bits, but I'll, I'll save that for Knights of the Old Republic, especially since it is uh, centered around some of the rumors about future future things. Um, okay. To include some casting things that might be happening or might not be happening, depending on who you ask. He's not ready to hear about it yet. I'm okay. Honestly, I'm I'm at the point now where I'm I'm pretty much just. Hoping that they some of the the mistakes they did by saying, "Oh, it was all a dream," or you know, <laughs> maybe, maybe Snoke was actually like Jar Jar Binks. Who knows? I mean, did you oh, I mean, say there, that there, there there is already the uh, Jar Jar's a secret Sith theory that's been going around for a while. And actually, you know what? I really like to believe that theory simply because it, it makes the character not so bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I. Um, but there's also the fact that there is some credibility to the argument. <laughs> there, There is just enough credibility to the argument to really make you go, hmm... Uh-oh. 
But yeah, it, it, it's, it's some good stuff and some other stuff. <laughs> oh. Well, wow. it's a very diplomatic way to say that, sir. Oh no, talking about the the catching up on his last few videos. Because uh, he is also a little frustrated with some decisions. Although now that Kevin Feige is uh, rumored is confirmed, I believe confirmed. To be working with the uh, LucasArts people on Unmovie. And we know how well Kevin Feige did with the Marvel Universe. It might be nice to have a uh, somebody with a little vision. Not the character. Although, if they want to grab Paul Bettany and put him in Star Wars somehow, I don't think anybody would... Uh, I don't think anybody would complain... Although I noticed all his characters seem to have a Shakespearean bent. Whether we're talking about A Knight's Tale, uh, Vision. Uh. I wouldn't say Shakespearean as much. As old school British? Okay, this is... Yeah. Like whatever character he plays, it needs to, it's gonna obviously be somebody light side or like I don't know, if he could play anyone in the Star Wars universe. Well, and that that would be if they grabbed anything from uh, Legends. What you <laughs> the artist formerly known as the Extended Universe. And I, I'd kind of like them to go, you've heard legends. Some of them are true. And then cherry pick the best out of the extended universe and, you know, go, yep, yep. That was a really awesome idea. That legend was true. I'm, I'm well, that's the way they can get around it because there's so much good content. Uh, there's a lot of content and much of it is good. Wrong. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> cough, cough. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're not sorry, biased yeah. about that at all, are you? I'm just saying. I'm not. I'm not. Not until I see a blue-faced alien. I'm not doing nothing. <laughs> well, I mean, but I imagine he could play bad guys. How would you feel about him oh. playing Thrawn? Paul Bettany actually. He probably could pull off a really good throw. <laughs> because, to be fair, to the best of my understanding, I had, in the series that I followed in Star Wars, I had lim very limited interaction with Thrawn. But isn't... It, it? It's a very weird moral values, but in his own weird, twisted way, he does believe that he is following his own value system. Yes, no, he yeah. thinks he's doing the right thing, and that's what makes him so... So we're getting back to the the D and D. He is uh, lawful to his own code. Yeah. So he uh, his yes, words. you may disagree with that code, but he is definitely internally consistent with his belief system. Like you're not going to call him out as a hypocrite at any point because. No, he, he is did it because at he least believed again. it, and because he believed it, that is why he did it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Sure. See, now that that that's a character I could definitely get behind. I mean, he's definitely a bad guy, but yeah, um, by whom standards? Yeah. I mean, he thought he was right. Well, to no, be he fair, right. as the predominant <laughs> government force in power, he is following the law. Like, if we're talking about, like, just pure, like, I mean, lawful on the D&D &D axis. Are, are we getting back to Smite Makes Right? <laughs> no, 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 because even if it's Smite Makes Right, he, he knows how to smite, so... <laughs> no, and does he ever. <laughs> even beyond that, he, uh... 
he just without going into too much copyrighted material <laughs> yeah yes please I, I do not want a uh, copyright strike on my channel <laughs> yeah I don't think Timothy Zahn would do that to you we're, we're giving him publicity he can sell more books but um <laughs> no Zahn wouldn't but uh, I'm pretty sure a, a, a certain um no oh, you mean the mouse. Uh, rodent 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 okay hey Flying squirrel but I will fly. go ahead and shout out of all the books that I ever read in the sci-fi universe, Timothy Zahn's writings are amazing. Yeah. And his characters are so wonderfully they're deep, even even secondary and even some third character like they the characters have a depth of personality to them. They're not just a two-day plane that we're painting whatever universe onto. I really enjoyed reading his stuff. Yeah, now Whereas, especially when you're writing for a pre-existing well, series fine, like that, I'm I sure found yeah. that there are other artists that have a tendency because the 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 main characters are already so well developed that all the other characters are really just kind of props. Ah. So I really enjoy that Zahn's writing was very very vibrant. That there was a little more there there. Yes, there's lots of there there. And uh, while he doesn't give you much of the background in the original series, uh, Thrawn trilogy, um, and he doesn't even give you much of anything in the Thrawn duology that is the to give you a history about how he even got into writing Star Wars because he originally was a writer for uh, like Cobra Command I think is what the or Cobra Alliance Cobra something oh. and the first thing that comes to the mind the G.I. franchise no, no actually no um, <laughs> that was my first thought uh, but no it's not um, but uh, he, he does a lot of I guess that would be considered military fiction. So okay. him transferring over to Star Wars wasn't that big of a jump for him because all yeah. he really had to do was learn a little bit of new, you know, terminology. So, so you go from an AK-47 to a blaster pistol. Yeah, well, yeah. sort of. Yeah. <laughs> More like a blaster rifle at that point, but we'll go with it. Yeah, no, anyway, no, but, um, you know, same bad aim. Same. Oh, uh, new, oh. new, new. Bad guys, bad guys, bad guys. Sorry. I'm sleeping. <laughs> oh, goodness. I I'm actually okay, kind of surprised because oh, usually, oh, usually oh, out this... of you, we get a no. That's no. when I'm falling. Oh, oh, that's right. That's right. Did the demolition crew come in? Somebody came in. We had a uh, pillage patrol walk through. Oh, yeah. is that the bell I hear? Because I hear I hear a bell, or an anvil, or something like that. Well, we were throwing our tridents. So I don't know if that's what you're. Uh, okay, gotcha. He was throwing his trident. I don't have a trident. You have yeah, a you trident. Do. I gave you a trident. Yeah, it's in a box on a wall somewhere. <sighs> Along with all your um, good gear and equipment, listen. we gave you. No, my good gear and equipment's in my box. Okay, I'm the gonna, trident I will okay. never use. Back, back, back to what I was talking about. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Before we get into a frustrating conversation, let's go back to Thrawn instead. Uh, anyway, Timothy Zahn got into writing Star Wars because he was already an established fiction writer in the military fiction uh, genre. And he was contacted, I think it was like 95, 80s, I don't remember the actual date. It was around that time frame. I know one of the Thrawn trilogy books came out in 95, so I'm just not sure which one it was. I don't think it was the first one. But anyway, so LucasArts contacted him and asked, you know, would you mind, you know, coming aboard uh, and writing a book? We, we just want to fill out or feel out the uh, populace to see if they're still even interested in Star Wars this has been several years after the last movie and uh, Timothy Zahn was like yeah sure why not <laughs> so he wrote the first book of the uh, Thrawn trilogy and it 
was so well received they had him go ahead and finish out the trilogy boy was it well received so he by himself pretty much kick-started the literary star wars as we know it today well as we knew it a couple well, of years as ago. we knew it anyway yeah. <laughs> so then when they went away from the common era the the empire era or the new republic era whichever one you wish to call it they had him come back and this is the only two series he wrote for star wars up until recently um he opened the common era or the uh new republic era with the thrawn trilogy and then he closed that era just before the yuzhang vong war series or era opened up with the thrawn duology series so those were the only uh, okay. two series he wrote for Star Wars until recently when I guess the mouse asked him to come back and at which point he has wrote three new books um, for Thrawn specifically. One is oh. basically showing okay, so, you so, where... So, hang on. So Thrawn is now officially in the current canon? Technically, yes. Uh, he is actually featured in some of the cartoons. Um Ooh, the uh, rebels. rebels, yep, rebels, and yeah. I think he's in the other. One. But um, so he oh, is canon. Matter, he's in a he's in a book post Disney purchase and a cartoon post Disney purchase, which puts him by the the ruling of the mouse firmly in uh, current canon. Yeah, so basically, that is awesome. per per mouse. They gave us his actual background story, where he was found in the outer and how that all came about and his time through the Imperial Academy. And then you have one where he is tag-teaming a partnership between him and Vader. And then the most recent one is called Treason. And it is phenomenal for not so much an insight into him per se. Yes, you get a good look at his strategy and how he thinks and Acts, but you've already gotten that two times over in the other two books on top of you know the two series before so in this one it is more a look at how he interacts with his own people and that's all i'm gonna say on okay. that which is insanely interesting considering the information that we originally had about him and the information that we garner from glimpses in this book make you think that maybe everything isn't exactly as the Empire thought it was. Huh. But I'll just leave you there. Also, for the record, no, we are not sponsored by anyone in any universe. Um... <laughs> This but is all our like personal be, opinion. You can contact uh, But... Oh. <laughs> no, go ahead. <laughs> oh, no. We're not no. sponsored. We're just having a, a heated no. discussion about... Uh, not even heated. Uh, it will be if we start talking about, you know, movies. <laughs> yes, I know. But just that's got to be thrown out there that there is no sponsorship or paid thing for any writers, anything. This is just... No. 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 Things we happen to like or dislike. But, so, there you go. I've answered the, the unspoken question of what I've been reading. But you guys, what have you guys been doing lately? <laughs> well, mostly with all the catch-up that I've been doing. Uh, <laughs> trying to keep, keep current on the podcast and catch up on the YouTube listening. Yeah, <laughs> and sleeping. Uh, except I'm not sleeping. I'm glad one of us is. Medic is commenting in the chat that he's been sleeping. Or catching up on sleeping. <laughs> no, but it, it was the... Uh, that is a silk touch one, isn't it? Yeah, that is a silk touch. Where'd my... Where'd my shrubs go? Oh, there they are. Um, yeah, no, it, it was that, it was that little bit that kind of got me thinking about a few things 
that will be a little bit more fitting for Thursday's stream. Um, because they do deal with the Old Republic and some of the other changes that have happened. Uh, there is a certain director whose trilogy is uncertain, and I just feel so sad about that. <laughs> hey, we you almost have a so plane. Sad. Yes, we almost have a plane. And if it was the in plane, Spain, that would be the where the, no, uh, no. No, no, no. Yeah. Alright, do I need to make a villager hiding bunker? Uh, that was gonna be... That was gonna be among the questions, is... <laughs> is it a mail plane? <laughs> it's a jet plane. We'll be leaving on it. Wow. Uh, I think it's time to rip down the buildings. What do we say? Well, uh, yeah, because I definitely want to do a little more terrain work. Because um, I, I don't know. I don't like the way this is. Although, I would like Reyest to mark off in some way where the central road is going to be and where the... Yeah, and no, roads need to go down before we do build things or anything like that. Or at least the, the well, main roadway fair through. Yeah, except you know, uh, know where the gates are because the road's going to be centered on the gates. Oh, because I was going to wait until you put down the roads to figure out where I was going to put the gate. Oh. Okay. So we're in a bit of a chicken and egg. Well, let's think of it this way. When Rome was making their cities what went first pillaging the other cities okay we did that what came second <laughs> <laughs> didn't pillage Pick your heads. city <laughs> I mean it's looking mighty pillaged right now <laughs> <laughs> medic is saying pig blood pig blood that, that, no, that, that was in the later. party afterwards <laughs> and um, we, we use okay, that for well, later they always built on a certain axis, but it was always. Um, the road and then first, they built right? their, and then they built their um, primary place, primary building first. Oh, okay. I always thought they laid out the roads first and then built everything mm. around it. Nope, well, no, they did one they, they central took over road. Other, they took over other people's roads, uh -huh. <laughs> and that's where they started. So do we want to do we want to do that? Do we want to just start using the uh, figuring out based on the existing roads? Oh, oh my! Okay, there's a trench. <laughs> I was not expecting that. What? Beep. It looks dark enough. I'm tired. I haven't figured out how to add coffee to the game yet. Yet. I should make the uh, the race worse though. Oh, the the phantoms. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so if you if you drink a lot you of can, coffee, the phantoms are bigger. Yeah. <laughs> I I like the sound of that until I have a two pot of coffee phantom coming after me. That's your own problem. <laughs> <laughs> then, then I might rethink that one. I have to oh, say, it would on. give some balance. I mean, that sounds cool. <laughs> well, I mean, no more. Because, I mean, at, at the end of the day, it's just going to be another variation on a potion. <laughs> uh, somebody in this type to tweet. And something something hops. I don't I don't remember the context. And, and um, and so I started going. Is that that potion that when you drink it, the vision gets kind of blurry, but your your saturation goes really, really high. I don't know. What saturation part? I mean, I'm. I always need to like go to the privy after I've had coffee. <laughs> I 
I don't know that saturation is the right word for that. No, 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 no. They they were talking about hops. Or they oh. mistyped hops when they meant something else. So I started referring to a different potion. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that requires a uh, rabbit's foot. We don't have any of those. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I th every now and again, I because th what else can you make with a rabbit's foot? I know you can do the jumping potion, or the is it the speed potion? No, it's a jumping potion. Speed yeah. potion is sugar. It makes you <laughs> hyper. Yeah, yeah, it does. Oh, in the game, in the game. Uh, <laughs> we have so many saplings. Okay. Are you really going to complain about that? I'm going to remind you the next time. No. No, you know, the, the problem is... It, some saplings, it is easy to get an overabundance of. And other saplings, you kind of wish that there was a Fortune 42 that you could put on a shovel or something to... <laughs> like, I mean, other than some hackery with the command line and admin privileges... And if you're going to do that, then why bother making the enchanted shovel or the enchanted axe and just, you know. Slash give. Slash give. Because, <laughs> yeah. like, uh, the, the birch saplings. Actually, I've never had a problem quick. getting birch. It's always acacia that I run out of. Oh yeah, no, Acacia Acacia is definitely at the top of my list as well. Um but I do I do struggle Oh no, the sugar cane. Okay, I just saw something green off in the distance and I started worrying. Um <laughs> Chumpy, are we? Uh, yes. Yes I am. And uh yeah. I, I All right, I have a mean word for us. Okay. Sweet. Yeah, Are I'm we definitely doing gonna, yeah, we're, we're definitely going to have to adjust the level no. a little bit. I just wanted to I just wanted to get it marked out and this was the fastest yeah. and easiest way to mark it out. Okay, and where is center so I know where to Well, is that um, what this pillar I, here is? I think we decided we're not going with a true center. We're going with an off-center center. Yeah. Okay. So where am I treating market at? Where's market center? Is that what this pillar here is? Um, no, that is true no. centerish. Oh, true centerish. Uh, That's true center. Okay. okay, this giant pole of stone brick is where the front gate is going to be. Um, although probably not on the current level that it's on. Okay. I might bring a little right, bit of the then, terrain. Paul, can you find out what is in the middle of this pillar and that pillar? And make that center? I, I was actually thinking, Arcadius, of putting the well where we're standing. Just bring this down a little bit. Um, or do we want to terraform the city to just go ahead and bring everything up to this level? Well, I think, well, I actually, think this, I think is, this is the same level, level as over. everything else. Well, that's what I mean. Go ahead and bring up all of this terrain here. Yeah, I think that is the same level. It is. It is. Mm -hmm. There we go. So that's where the well should be, or where the bell should be, or whatever. That's center. Okay. Oh. That's market center. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yep. Now, when we ring the bell, that'll make them go to bed, right? So should the bell be in the middle of their home, or should the bell be in the middle of... Um. Alright, so this will be the well. The shops will be around the well. Um, mm -hmm. the, the bell has a radius i forget what the radius is uh so maybe before we put the 
bell, we figure out what that is because uh, whether or not it sends them to their homes depends on how close they are to it. And I mean, we can also set up okay. more than one bell. Uh, the nice Truth. thing is that if we set it up right, if we set it up in advance in a future patch, you will be able to ring the bell with redstone. So we could actually set it up so that way when you ring one bell, it triggers a redstone signal that rings the others. We? <laughs> I'm using the royal we because apparently that means me. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> It does, just in case you're wondering. I, it could be a wee by then. I'm not allowed to do redstone on stream, remember? Yeah, that doesn't mean you're not allowed to do redstone. You're just not allowed to do it on stream. Oh, wait! I have the sad wait. facey thing. The sad facey thing? Because I killed the guy. Oh, gotcha. No, I, I guess you're just going to have to live out here. It'll be sad. Now, go go make an iron bucket and milk one of the cows. Oh, no, I was thinking we could make our villagers like us. By saving the day. I don't think yeah, any we're not ready amount for that yet. of saving the day is oh. going to make them like us when we make them live in a hole in the ground. No, not these no, ones. The the They're other happy. ones. Our ones. Oh, you want to end the stream by causing a raid over at the uh, the farm? Yeah. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> uh, you can have fun with that. <laughs> we need like a, a room where we just keep like forty hundred of them that you can just drop into. So when you have Hero of the Village, you just drop in there and they throw everything at you? <laughs> I like how nobody agrees with me on that one. <laughs> like, no, no, no. I don't think so. No, I'm, I would love to set up a, a pillager farm of some sort, but I'd rather do uh, something over by an outpost. As opposed to near a village that we're trying to keep in one piece. There are times that I absolutely love an efficiency shovel, and then there's right now. <laughs> I just want to pull up the, the sand and the gravel before I start filling in this water hole. And I, I keep pulling up everything. To include some of the clay, which I'm happy to find. Yeah, we'll definitely need that. Yeah. Where's the ghost block? Is it there? It's there. You kidding me? There we go. I hate that. <laughs> the night has come. Well, we're set. Pacing restlessly because his dinner's a little late. Actually, given the hour, I might have to call it a night here anyway because I do have work in the okay. morning. But uh, as a group, are we only working on this on stream, or is this free game to work on off camera? I was thinking, given the amount of work that we have to do. We, we should go ahead and make it a fair game to work on off-camera. Because we got okay. a lot of ground to fill in. We've got um, a lot of building to do. All, all of us included in that we. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So kind of kind of to recap. Here at the end of the stream. 
Um, by the by, are these bricks still the back wall? Because I noticed the road goes out further. Oh, I just kept looking at the ground and hitting the shovel. Oh, okay. So, so the, these line. these three brick <laughs> columns are still yeah, the, the yeah. back wall. Yes, I just okay. I was okay, looking okay. at the ground and going click 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 click. Okay, so that little pillar over there, these three pillars over here, and can I see them from here? Yeah, that pillar over there are kind of our markers for our back and side walls. We're gonna follow the terrain a little bit so it's not going to be quite a, a squirrelier square and then that giant pillar over there is going to be the front gate and we're going to fence in where this village was underneath these uh, these blocks here we've got what remains of the villagers that were here when we first found the place uh, some of them have some really nice trades uh, but we are going to do a bunch of retraining. We're going to build a nice, solid, secure wall. We'll light this place up, do a little bit of landscaping for them. And we are going to completely overhaul this village. I keep trying to think of the show name where they come in and they, like, overhaul your house or something. Um, yeah, the... the it is one of those home makeover shows, but I thought it had a different name. Um, while you were out. Oh, yeah, while you were out. So instead of while you were out, it's while you were under a rock. And uh, <laughs> 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 so while you were under a rock, we, we gave you, we upgraded you from tiny hut number two to uh, oh <laughs> this two story building. <laughs> It's so bad. You have to remember that and put that as the name of your next episode. <laughs> While you're under a rock. Yeah. Alright, so... Let me, uh, let me, oh my... Uh, let me switch this over to the credits, credits seed. This is where I say thank you for joining along. I hope you had fun. Went a little bit longer than I'm going to go on the last couple of streams. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to keep these down to two hours so they're not too, too long. Um... If you, uh, if, if you like what you saw, join us at Tuesdays at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. If you're watching this live, then you already know where to find it because I am on Twitch.tv and Mixer at least for the, the short, for a little while longer. I don't know how long I'm going to stick with them, but that's another topic for another day. Um, Live.anonjunior.com will redirect you to the Streamlabs page where I believe you should still be able to donate uh i keep intending to check on that and you know what let me write that oh yeah i'll totally be able to read that note later yep uh 14 years of healthcare, folks anyway <laughs> um Anonjunior.com is my main site. It has links to everything. If you're watching this on YouTube, there'll be links to the Twitch and Mixer stream down below. If you're watching this on Twitch or Mixer and you miss some episodes and you want to go back and watch later, there will be links to YouTube below and all the different places you can find me at Anonjunior on Twitter. Anonjunior.com is the main site. And uh, you can find out more about the server and my cohorts here for Season Zero at coffeecraft.us um, which I really should include in the links below I, I've got the same template that I use for everything uh, to include Thursday's stream which is Games Revisited where I go back and take a look at some uh, classic games for varying definitions of classic as you gathered from the conversation we were doing a little while ago I'm currently working through Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic the good game not the MMO that started well but well you know the A-Team moved on. Um, and that is Thursdays at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. I also upload those uh, archives to YouTube. And hopefully in the future I'm going to have some more produced content. Uh, partly, you know, definitely some shorter Minecraft videos that are on the server. Some Minecraft videos uh, helping to teach Redstone and that sort of thing. And some other clips and bits. I do do need some help from you and I know there's at least a baker's dozen of you watching 
the YouTube uploads later on. Please let me know in the comments some suggestions for a witty, punny name for a second channel where I can start putting some of the stuff that doesn't quite fit. Um, I, I got a few things that I'd like to do, but it's not its not right for the main channel. It, it's kind of one of those, those little side thing type deals. And, and so I need, a, I need a name for that. I need to know where to put that. So let me know down in the comments. Have fun. Enjoy. See you next week.